The Creative Grid's Ultimate Flying Geese Tool, designed by Deb Heatherly, is a must-have ruler in every quilter's toolbox. Making flying geese units quickly, easily, and accurately, four at a time. The printed cutting chart on the ruler now works for two different methods. Or, oversize your own favorite method for making flying geese, and then use the Ultimate Flying Geese Tool to trim your own geese to perfection. There are eight different geese available on this tool. Let's take a look at the first method for making four at a time fast flying geese. Select the appropriate flying geese unit and follow the cutting chart printed on the ruler. Cut the large square twice on the diagonal. Cut each of the four smaller squares once on the diagonal. The yield will be eight sky triangles. Sew a sky triangle to one side of a goose triangle and press open. Add a second sky triangle and press open. Now, use the Ultimate Flying Geese tool to trim your units. Place the trim one side of the tool on one of the goose sections. Select the appropriate size and align the sides and the point of the goose. Trim along the right side and the top. Rotate the goose unit and the ruler 180 degrees. Align the trim to side of the tool and the appropriate size along the sides and the point of the goose. Trim the remaining two sides for a perfect flying geese unit. Repeat the process for the remaining three geese. Now let's look at the second method for making four at a time fast flying geese. Select the appropriate size flying geese unit and follow the cutting chart printed on the ruler. Draw a diagonal line on the back of four small squares. Place two of the squares, right sides together, on opposite ends of the large square, overlapping the corners of the smaller squares. Sew a quarter inch from the line on both sides of the line, and then cut on the line. Fold back the smaller triangles to make a heart. Press towards the smaller triangles. Place the square on each of the hearts as shown. Sew a quarter inch from the line on both sides of the line. Cut on the line and fold back the small triangles. Use the Ultimate Flying Geese tool to trim to size. The yield will once again be four perfect flying geese. Now here's Deb Heatherly to tell you about some companion patterns. Hi, welcome to the Deb's Cats and Quilts Design Studio. The quilt behind me is called Got Geese and it uses a variety of the different sizes found on the trim tool. The quilt to my right is called Salute and it uses the Ultimate Flying Geese tool in combination with the Strippy Stars tool. The little miniature that you see up and to my right is called Itty Bitty Geese. It uses the two smallest sizes on the Ultimate Flying Geese tool. And to my left, Moody Blues is a quick and easy runner. Remember, we made those geese four at a time. Ask for the Ultimate Flying Geese tool at your local quilt shop. Until next time, happy stitching.